Hey, what's up everybody? This is KC with Triple Four Woodworks. Today we're going to do three different oak vases and I'm going to show you a couple others I turned off camera at the end of the video. The first one we start pretty simple and then the second one I'll get a little more uh, creative. I'll do a little bit of carving and then the third one I think is the coolest. I did go about it the hard way but I'll talk about that when we get there. Appreciate you checking this video out. Sit back, relax, hope you enjoy it. Here what I'm doing is I'm filling the crack with a little bit of CA glue and some coffee grinds. Very thin crack, I'm sure it would have been fine, but the wood was a little bit wet when I turned it. So put a little bit in there, it'll seal it, won't have to worry about it. Hey, what's up everybody? This is another vase we're gonna add on here. So I thought I would talk a little bit more for the second vase. A lot of times I like to work with this as the top so that I could open it up a little more. But I think I'm gonna do a reverse here since we're doing a vase and I wanna do a little bit more of a squat vase here 
Uh, I guess it would be a little bit more of a bud vase, but I'm gonna see. I might try to make it a little bit longer. But I'm basically gonna chop this off right here on the bandsaw, so that'll give us our widest base. And I'm gonna try to come up, basically center through here, and we'll see. Hopefully there will be some of this taken off, some of this left on, and then we'll bring it to a, uh, a mouth here. Uh, so I'm gonna go over the bandsaw, be back in a little bit, and we'll get it chucked up and go from there. See you in a minute. All right, I got it chucked up here. I tried to center it where I thought would give us the uh, widest base. Uh, this is where we'll make our tenon on this side before we flip it around. And I offset this, so instead of going straight in, I left it much closer to the edge on one side. That way it'll get rid of a lot more of this and hopefully leave some of the other side. We'll see. This may not have enough of a curve in it, so if it doesn't, it doesn't, but we'll see what we got. We'll uh, give it our best. All right, for this third vase, I'm gonna do something different than I've ever done. I'm actually gonna make an 
offset open sided vase. I definitely went about this the hard way as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. So I'm gonna let this play out a little bit and then when I get to the part that I did the hard way, I'm gonna stop and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, here I'm gonna start the off-center turning process. So what you see me doing here is loosening the tail stock. I'm also gonna loosen the piece from the uh, tenon in the chuck, and I'm just gonna offset it a little bit. You'll see me tighten it back up. I'll do some turning, and then I'll straighten it back out. All right, so right about here is where I realized that I did things the hard way. As I went to go drill this hole through the center, I realized that I should have done this before I turned the piece at all. It worked out like this okay, but it was much more difficult because as I was trying to drill, it kept wanting to pop out of the hole. So at some point, you'll see me come in here with a hand drill and actually make a starter hole, and then I was able to finish it off. Next time, I'll definitely drill before I turn the piece, and it'll be much easier. <laughs> 